Hello, and thank you for joining Steve on Pathways, my video blog designed to help guide you through the Pathways learning experience based on my own experience. Today is episode number seven. We're going to be talking about project overview and printing projects. Let's get started. On the agenda today, project overview, we're going to look at all the required and elected projects in your path, how you can do that, how you can jump around within a path, and then finally, printing your path. So to do some of these things, I'm actually going to go back into Toastmasters International and go into my particular path and show you how we do those things. So if I want to look at my entire path, I go back into my curriculum and open the curriculum. But instead of opening the curriculum, as you see there, click on the little down arrow. And what you're going to see are a couple of options here. One is open curriculum, which is what we've been doing, is to go into the actual uh, curriculum and look at each individual project kind of in a, a smaller scale or micro scale. Uh, or you can view training details, which we're going to look at in a second, or you can move to an archived transcript, which you don't really want to do that for anything that you're actively working on. Uh, if you can change your view over here from active projects to archive to completed, uh, but sometimes it gets confusing finding things if you forget where you've put them. So um, unless you know that you're, they're really archived and want to keep track of them that way, I would suggest keeping everything in your active until you know that you're finished with it and ready to move it to archived. However, um, let's look at view training details, not open curriculum, but view training details and see what we see. So this will be a little bit of an eye chart because um, the, there's a lot of information packed onto the screen. But hopefully you can get at least a little bit of an idea. This is my path, innovative planning. And you can see in here, we've already talked about the icebreaker evaluation feedback, all the projects required and elective that are available in each level in each path each in this path are listed here um, and uh, it will show me the status if I've completed them, um, if I've just launched them to look at them or if I've actually done them. So even when we get to the different electives, all those electives are here under um, level three. There's one requirement present a proposal in my particular path. That's what's required in level three. But look here, there's all these different um, electives that I could choose from. Some of these I've already activated or launched uh, because I had interest in them, whether or not I actually completed them or not. I wanted to take a look at them because just by the name, it sounded like something that I might want to do. <clears throat> you can see that there are actually two of them that I completed in this particular uh, view that was focused on the positive and the other one was active listening. Um, but if you want to go to this view. Um, again, look at view training details, and then you'll see everything that's required for every level and every elective. And if you do happen to activate and launch any of these, let's just pick one, um, connect with storytelling. If I activate that, um, it should open. And uh, I, I, can, I can actually go in and launch it, activate it, and then launch it. And then it will be just, just like launching the module um, if I looked at, I accessed it any other way. So the other thing that's cool, cool about this, I think two things really. One thing is that if you're the type of person who likes to look ahead and be thinking about like not only what I'm working on now, but what I might want to work on next or after that or after that, or what the, uh, all the electives that I might want to pick as I go through this path, but then also if life presents you with an opportunity to tell a story, for instance, there's something that's happened that would be a great story to put into the storytelling module, but you're really not at level three and ready to do that, um, ready to do all the work up to level three just yet. But you can still complete this particular project and get credit for that project and not for the level, you have to do all the work in between to get to that, uh, uh, get credit for that level, but you could go in and do this particular project and get credit for it because um, you know it happened to fit the time of your life when you had a particular story that came to mind or a topic that you wanted to share and use it to complete this particular elective. Um, 
and then when you do all the work that leads up to this in the future, then you are, will already have this particular project completed. The other thing that we wanted to touch base on today is printing your project. I, th I think I said at the outset that really Pathways is meant to be a digital learning module that you access things online, read them online, save them online, that you don't have to carry around a manual or be responsible for printed materials, also um, you know, the expense of the printed materials. However, for some people and at some times in life, uh, it makes sense to have a copy of the project printed out. Either it's for reference, it's the type of person who likes to take notes in the, in the margin, or whatever the reason might be, there is a way to print each and every project that you might be working on. And I'll show you where that is in the learning module. Uh, and uh, you can decide if it's worthwhile for you to do that or not. So to show you an example of how to print your project, I'm going to once again use the icebreaker since that's the first speech in every project and might be the most helpful to have the project printed out for your reference as you go through this particular learning module. But to get to this, I simply, I'm going to show you once again using the jump menu, I'm going to go to your evaluation, which is what I have here. And then one of these um, resources that's available here is called Print My Project. And if you open that, you will, it will open the entire project. I've gone ahead and opened the, uh, printed the project and it opens a PDF that I can then either save or send to my printer. I would suggest you save it first and then send it to your printer. This particular project for level one happens to be, if we scroll all the way down here, 23 pages long. So it is not a print friendly document necessarily as far as being conservative in its use of paper, uh, but it has everything in it that we saw in the module, you know, your assignment, your goals, your um, the evaluation is in here, and how to complete your assignment. Um, so everything is in here, and like I say, it might be a, a valuable resource for some of you. Uh, there's obviously, when you print out a project, you can't connect to things like videos or other um, things that are available only digitally. But again, maybe that won't make any difference. Uh, and then it talks about how you will be evaluated and what the rubric is for that. Um, so uh, it's not a, a terrible resource to have available if you really want to print your project. It's not something that I highly recommend. Um, but for there are some circumstances when you might want to print your project and now you know how to do it. So just to recap what we've covered today, we talked about project overview, how you can look at all the required and elective projects that are in a particular path. We looked at how you can jump around from one project to another so that it might suit your life or whatever you're working on otherwise and um, make it fit. Then we also looked at printing your project. That's something I really strongly recommend, but if you want to, you can print any project uh, within the project module just by clicking on that particular print the project and like I said, saving it and then sending it off to your printer. Uh, just be prepared that most of them are more than 20 to 30 pages long. So it will be a fairly significant document. Next time when we get together, we're gonna to talk about making the most of pathways. I look forward to seeing you then.